is Ellen Redlick, and I am the Academic Programs and Outreach Coordinator uh, for the Department of Computer Science at the University of Saskatchewan. And what that actually means is that I run the internship program for our department and coordinate outreach events and do communications to promote the department. So admission for our program is through the College of Arts and Science because we are a department in the college and you will need Foundations of Math 30 or Pre-Calc plus at least one of Bio 30, Chem 30 or Physics 30 though all of those are recommended. Um, and you need to have a minimum admission average of 70%. And to see all of these requirements and more, you can go to admissions.usas.ca. We offer a number of programs, including a three-year bachelor, a four-year bachelor, um, and honors degrees. You can also do a minor if you're majoring in another degree in the college, um, but want to supplement it with some computer science foundations. And the majority of the students will choose to do a four-year BSc um, or bachelor's degree. And to finish that in four years, it would mean you're taking five classes per semester for the four years. But depending on your personal situation, some students might not be able to achieve this in that exact time frame. So for example, if you're working throughout school, um, doing those five classes per semester might just be a little too much for you. And so in that case, you might only be taking four classes per semester, and then it might take you a little bit longer than that standard four years. But some students get around this by supplementing with some summer classes, um, so you can speed that schedule up even if you are working and not taking the five per semester. Um, we do offer an internship program, and all of our placements are paid jobs that last 12 to 16 months. So um, students who take that program, they'll also extend their degree by a year because you aren't making progress in that four-year degree while you're working um, on that 12 or 16 month placement. So depending on what you transfer to at our university, some of the credits that you obtain towards your CS degree will definitely be transferable to another degree. Um, and alternatively, if you start in another degree and transfer into our program, um, a lot of those will likely transfer as well, and those will most, mostly be your electives. So, for example, if you're in the college, um, Edwards Business College, we have a business elective requirement section, so some of your business classes would transfer over as those business requirements in our program. So some things will transfer, um, obviously not everything, but you won't be starting from scratch if you do start elsewhere and transfer into our program. You have so many options. Um, the world is really your oyster with a computer science degree. A few examples would be developing software or websites, um, game development, doing data analysis or machine learning for companies, working in cybersecurity to help keep users safe, um, doing animation for movies. These are all examples of things that our graduates are doing right now, but there are other jobs that don't even exist yet. So the next generation will have options as well. So it's really um, just a completely overwhelming field that uh, you never really know what you're going to get into because some of it doesn't even exist yet. I would say someone who's curious and loves to solve problems would be a great student in our program. A main component to computer science is problem solving. So if you have that instinct or that desire to take a problem and find a solution to it, this could be a really great fit for you. Our program gives a really great foundational knowledge of computer science and programming. I know there are a lot of short online boot camps that promise to show you how to code, and I don't think that that's wrong. But in addition to that, we also show you why you're coding. So having these foundations is so important because the field is just changing so quickly. And it's not enough just to learn some commands in one language and go through a few tutorials on that. The foundations that we give you are really something that you can fall back on consistently throughout your career. Um, one thing that our interns always tell me is that because of those foundational skills that they learn in our program, it's really quite easy for them to go into that job and use different languages and technologies and pick up on them right away because they have that baseline knowledge from our program. So if you have the ability to take CS30 in high school, that, that will definitely give you a head start getting into our program, um, but it isn't required. And we do offer an introductory course called CMPT 140, Introduction to Creative 
computing. And that will give a great start for those students who haven't had the access to a computer science class in high school and haven't been able to complete CS30. For the first year, students will only take one computer science class per term and the other classes um, will be filled up with, you know, your science, your math, um, your other electives to get your feet wet that first year and get that foundational knowledge. Um, each class has three hours of lecture per week and the computer science classes generally have a tutorial as well. So our lectures are usually either Monday, Wednesday, Friday for one hour or Tuesday, Thursday for an hour and a half. And this is where the course content is taught by the professor. Whereas the tutorials are generally just once a week, usually an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Um, and they take place in our instructional computer labs in the Sphinx building. And a teaching assistant will lead a short lesson um, that will help you with the content of what the assignment is for that week and then usually open it up to like a question and answer period so that they can continue to help you with your assignment if you have questions. And with a couple exceptions, um, our computer science classes will usually require coding assignments. So there's usually a lot of time spent in the lab with your fellow students and building relationships and, um, you know, working on your assignments and, and getting that sense of community in our department as well. So I grew up in a small town in rural Saskatchewan, um, came to the University of Saskatchewan for my undergraduate degree and ended up doing it in computer science. Um, wasn't something that I expected, but I happened to take the first computer science class just as a science elective and I really enjoyed it. And I thought like it was something so far out of anything I'd ever experienced before because our school didn't have a computer science program or any computer science offerings. Um, so it was it was a surprise to me that I enjoyed it so much um, and I wanted to continue learning. So I ended up getting the bachelor's degree, the four-year bachelor's degree, and then I went into industry and worked as a software developer in Saskatoon for just over six years. And then I decided to further my education and pursue a master's degree in computer science at the U of S as well. Um, during my master's, I also worked for the ICT department at USASC. Um, just for a short stint, I ended up teaching a class as a se sessional lecturer in computer science. And then I got this job as the internship and outreach coordinator for the department. So it's been a bit of a winding road, but I think the more people that you talk to, the more you find that that's what your career is. It's not a linear progression necessarily. It's um, definitely a, a winding journey that you have to find for yourself. Well, obviously I'd say just do it, <laughs> but um, on a more serious note, I'd say to gather as much information as you can. Um, our website is a great resource for all things Department of Computer Science. Um, we have a ton of information about the program, the different classes, some career options, and uh, I think that's a really great place to start. And also following us on our, our social media, um, on Instagram and Facebook, um, so you can get a little more um, exposure to what our department's like and get an idea of what your experience would be like if you were um, applying or if you were in our program. And hopefully you like what you see and you will then decide to apply for good. <laughs>